Hello everybody and welcome back to the Rage Stone. Today is the 30th episode of Rage Stone, which is awesome because I don't think I've ever had a series go to 30 that didn't relate to Christmas in some way or another. Anyway, for today's episode, given that it is awesome, uh, we will be doing an entire arena run start to finish in the episode, regardless of everything. So, if it goes super fucking long, I don't care, we're fucking sitting here, and we're gonna do it. And to ensure that it lasts a while, we got a rogue right here, getting us going. I'm thinking, yeah, Blade Fury. Uh, let's go with the uh, new bar in a bursher. Pilot Shredder. Good card. Assassinate. Yeah. Uh, ooh, I like Tinker. So we'll go with the oil there. Um, let's get the deadly poison. I'm thinking Violet. I hate the Violet Teacher. I hate these cards. Fuck it, fine. Ugh. Um. I guess Cold Blood. Not a great card, but not a terrible card. Cobalt Geomansa, questing adventurer. Has the potential to have some awesome stuff. I love my Spectral Knights. Uh, anti Killbot. Good, 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 good. Defias Ringleader. Good. Another oil would be nice, so let's grab that. Um, got quite a few spells. Not a lot of minions. But I don't want the Scar of the Crusader, so another spell. I need to shave. Hmm. I would be Gowl for Silence. Acolyte of Pain. Uh, Shiv. I do enjoy my Shivs. Archmage. Antonidas. Uh, let's go with the Defender of Argus. I like that card. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, new bar ambusher. How are we doing? We got seven cards left. Got a lot of spells. It's just not a great draft overall, is what I'm seeing here. We don't have any secrets, so you're useless. You suck. We might as well go with the warden, I guess. It's a terrible card. Another Acolyte of Pain. All right, last five cards. Ooh, here we go. We can get some beef. I'm thinking Stranglethorn Tagger. Uh, the Reckless Rocketeer. Fen Creeper. Silver Hand Knight. And the final card will be a Sunwalker. Not bad. Not great. Not bad. Let it go. Let it ride, bitches. Let it ride. Oh, yeah. Whew. Okay. Well, let's all settle in. 30 episodes. That's a lot of episodes. That's a lot of fucking Hearthstone. I do love Hearthstone, but that's a lot. You know? That's a, that's a far higher number of Hearthstone videos than I ever thought I was going to be end up making in this series. Of course, this is a series that could logically go on forever. Especially when they update it with, like, new packs and stuff. So, who's to say? Who's to say? I just like it because it's it's a lot of fun and it gives me, like, a, uh, a, a, um, a, uh, format? Maybe? Is that the word I'm looking for? Uh, platform. Platform. To, uh, talk to you guys about basically whatever the fuck I want. Because it's almost like a podcast in a way. It's like a daily podcast. That's why I want you guys to think of the show as from now on. This is a daily podcast where I just blather on about whatever the fuck I want. And before we get started, since we're going to be here a while, I'm going to light this candle. As we go against Legolas 420. Good, good fucking stupid name. 420. 420. Weed, man. Hey, man. I don't know which card to pick, man. I don't like any of these cards, man. I'm gonna get rid of all of them, man. Pie heads. Dang, pie heads. Smoking up all of them weeds. All up in my business. I don't know. Cobalt Geo. There's no point, really. Into coining Cobalt Geomancer, so we won't do it. I'm probably just gonna stab him in the head. Good old stabby stab in the head. Especially if he doesn't have a turn two. Which he does. What are you playing? Nerubian Egg. Interesting. Oh, he probably does have a way to activate that with, um, with like, Velen's Chosen. Would be, uh, would be unfortunate. So let's play the Cobalt Geomancer to get some minions down. Shiv. Okay, cool. Um, 
Uh, there was actually something I did want to talk about, but I can't remember what it was now. Balls. Let's do that. Deadly poison. We'll knock him out. Hit him in the face for two. His 2-1 two will trade into my 2-2. Two two. Oh! Um, real quick, little, little nerdy thing. So, there was an interview with David Ramsey, who plays uh, John Diggle on Arrow. And they were asking, because there's a big fan theory going around that uh, John Diggle is going to end up becoming um, a Green Lantern. And will basically be John Stewart. And if we look at Diggle's history as like a as a marine, not marine, as a uh, as an army vet, and uh, generally a pretty wise, good guy, I feel like he would be a prime candidate for the Green Lantern Corps. Um, that being said, we don't have a lot of cosmic DC in Arrow. Uh, we do have hard light is a thing because um, um, Ray Palmer says that he's not going to have lasers in his um in his atom suit but he will use hard light like concentrated hard light basically uh oh so he's always fighting his own guy that's that's an okay way to do it i suppose if i blade fury here i can kill uh yeah actually if i blade fury right and then i shiv that guy oh that's sexy that was nice. I liked that. That was pretty good. Anyway, so I would be totally behind um, John becoming the uh, the Green Lantern or a Green Lantern. But my fear with that is that by the, when if he becomes Green Lantern, he will become more powerful than um, than uh, Oliver. Like, like he would become the most powerful member. Or, like, just character on the show. Because Green Lantern, you know, that's willpower. He can make fucking anything. He's a Green Lantern. He can fly. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be tough, you know, for anybody to pose a challenge to him. So... This is actually kind of tricky because if I kill the 34 with my 4-7, that's going to buff the shit out of the goddamn Cobra. And I don't want to do that. What can I do here? I could kill the Cobra, which is annoying. Mm. I could give my guy taunt. I would still kill the Cobra. I would kill my guy in the, in the transaction. I think what we do here is we Ooh. kill the Cobra because we got to, but then we play the Sunwalker. I think that was, I think that was the move. Damn cobras! Nothing like the the jets and the sharks. Is he gonna trade up? No, he's not. Okay, so let me play the questing adventurer. Give me a quest. And we'll play the acolyte of pain. Wait. Yes. And we'll swing at the fences. We'll do some fence swinging. Okay. So. This is a tricky game, actually. It's got a decent deck. Force tank max. I have no... Well, no, I do have removal. I have, um... Um... What can we jigger? Assassinate. So, removal is actually a possibility. Ready, sir. So let's heal up. I can either kill that thing or ignore it. I think we will play the ignore game. Although, if he's going to try to rush me down, he's probably going to be more successful than I am. So, can't... He can, he can kill a lot, but I don't think he can clear my board. Um, it looks like he's going for... Holy Nova? Argent Commander. And then he's going to Shadow Word Death, my guy. He's going to kill the 4-4. Four four. He's going to hit him in the face for 7. Uh, uh, looks like he's going to go after that thing. Okay. Pay attention, class. Here we go. I'm 
pink. This is an interesting game. Yeah. Huh. This will be... I'm curious to see how this is gonna go. Cuz... This engine shield master will slow me down. And he has two 7-7s seven now, which is not ideal. But it did just pull an assassinate, which is nice. Cool. Alright, so what are we assassinating? Probably his full blood 7-7. Seven, seven. We'll play a new bar ambusher. I guess we'll do that. I'm not swinging at his face. That's dumb. But I do have a 5-5 five, five down. And let's see, is he gonna swing for me or is he gonna kill the 5-5? Five, five? He's playing the Spiteful Smith, which is really dumb for a priest to have, so I wonder what cards he gave up to pull that off. That was not a smart move on his part. I don't like that. I don't like that. We're gonna... a new bar ambusher. We're gonna kill that thing. Throw up the taunt. Rearmor up and poke him. So he can kill both my taunts, but he will lose both minions in the process. Mm. Shit. I forgot about their death rattle. This is gonna be... I'm gonna actually lose my board here. Ah, that's interesting. Sweet. Okay. That's not that bad. He still got a lot of power, but he... He heals that. Oh, okay. Right, he gave it villains chosen. If you heal that minion uh, beyond... My shield for Argon. Here we go. Uh, oh geez. Probably should have killed the 6-6. Six, six. I'm not thinking straight. I don't have any card draw on this deck. Pay attention, Violet class. Teacher. Fucking hate the Violet Teacher. Ow. Okay, I'm dead. Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> I don't think I have anything in my deck that can do 11 damage to him. And I don't think... I can kill. Yeah, I can't. Can't do it. Well, dang. Probably should have killed the 6-6. Six, six, if I was thinking straight. And the fact that I lost to somebody named 420, like an idiot. God damn it. That's disappointing. That's disappointing to say the least. More to say the most. Nah, it's the least. <clears throat> Gonna stretch after this. It's been a long day. Long, boring day of nothing. And I still have a bunch of shit to take care of. That'll be fun. Wouldn't that be fun, guys? Wouldn't that just be a, the best? I think I'm gonna have pasta tonight, because I love pasta. But I'm out of pasta sauce. So, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna make, like, pasta, right? I'm gonna make the pasta. And, oh, here we go. Uh, let's toss the fan creeper. You would've been useful, you fuck. Um... I'm gonna make pasta, right? So I'm gonna cook up my pasta. And I've got some sausage, so I'm gonna cook up the sausage, too. And then, I'm gonna cover it all in cheese. And then eat it. It's gonna be so good. Uh, let's do the classic turn one. Vazthian. Vazthian? Vaz... Vazthian? Fascinating. Fascinating! Yes. Uh, yeah, that sounds really good, honestly. Big ol' carbohydrate and protein dinner. I'll make some English muffins, get some bread in there. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Mmm. Just gonna eat it all. Let me think. I, I can't wait to make that. That's gonna be great. Reporting for duty. Maybe what I should do, right? I'll cook the pasta, then I'll, like, lay it all out in, like, a big sheet pan. Then I'll cover it in the sausage and the, uh, the cheese. And have, like, oven-baked pasta. And then I'll have some... Oh, that sounds really good. If you oven bake it, the cheese will melt. It'll all kind of solidify together in this beautiful thing. That sounds so good. That sounds so good. In my mouth, so good. Mmm. I wish I had pasta sauce, though. Oh! Look, look at this. Look at this catty whack. Give a dog a bone. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're gonna play the Acolyte of Pain. We'll pink on that. We'll hit you in the head. There we go. Hopefully he doesn't have the Silverhand Knight synergy that I'm sure he is fucking looking for. It's a weird card. Equips a 1-4 weapon. Why don't they just call it the weapon it is? It's Light's Justice. I don't know. Maybe because not everybody knows that card by its name. Light's Justice. It's an okay. Mm. Okay card. Not the best weapon. But I don't think it's the worst either. Mechanical Yeti. Good card. And he's doing that. So I can't get card draw. Because someone's a right bastard. Let's play the 5-5. Five, five. Behold, my minion's stronger than your minion. <laughs> can you defeat him? I don't think you can. You know what also sounds really good is ordering pizza, but I'm not going to do that because I'm essentially going to make, like, something that's just as bad for you as pizza. So. Ah, Divine Shield. So, it looks like you're going for me face, eh? Not on my, my watch. Oh, look at all the Divine Shields. It's just all the Divine and the Shields. Uh, what do we want to play? I'm thinking Fen Creeper for a taunt. And we'll just pummel him in the face. Yes. If he plays a, um, whatchamajigger, Blood Knight? Glory to the Sandorai! Then I might be in a little bit of a in, a, in a, in a pickle, but doesn't look like he's got it. He will, however, burn his Divine Shields in my taunt, which is unfortunate. Let's see, actually. If I crunch numbers here. Not on okay, five. we're gonna number crunch here. How many fucking Argent Protectors did you get? Jesus. Five, six. Two, two. That's five. I think I've got him. Holy shit. Just, just barely got him with the weirdest combo I've ever seen. Hot damn, that was cool. Fuck. Yeah, almost one more. One more win, guys, and I got 100 gold. Woo. Whoa, that was weird. I'm like looking at it going like, whoa. Blew my mind, man. Yeah, but I'm going to make that pasta. Oh, that was already five. I'm pretty hungry. Mmm. Play Hearthstone, you guys hear me like in the kitchen. Hold on, burn back. Gonna bake pasta. Oh, jeez. Doorboard. Is this. Did I even check the sound? No, this sounds good. Wow, this is not good. We don't want any of that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, damn it. I feel like the reason we did so well was because of the goddamn Defias. Another paladin. Weird. Storbor 7. Stadorbor. Stabor Saven. Oh, hey! Stadorbor Saven. Privet Drive. The ominous fog makes the nighttime even more hoary and mysterious than usual here in suburban Britannia. Out from the shadows <laughs> of God knows what ball. dimension steps the oldest wizard in the books. The near dead Dumbledore. He is clearly a powerful beast and walks with dignity despite his age and attire. He sees a cat that he knows right before he sets to work. He produces a wizard's tool known as the Street Darkener and with a practiced, careful angling of the arm begins to siphon away the clarity made from mankind's bulbs. Magical deeds are afoot, dear reader. Magical darkness, a must. The atmosphere complete. The cat, now protected by shadows, transforms into who else but Professor Hardcastle McCormick, an old friend and ally of Dumbledore the Half-Dead. She is truly a great wizard also, and possesses many a skill that will aid in tonight's random errand. They speak gravely for tonight's mission. For trust me, dear reader, their work is dubious. What are they to do? Are they- actually I messed up. Damn it! Ah. Uh, 
I have a lot of that memorized. Um, I think right up until uh, she is truly a great wizard also and produces many a, possesses many a skill that will aid in tonight's random errand. Uh, in case you didn't know what that was from, there is a hilarious YouTube video out there called, not YouTube video, a hilarious, I would say it's a project almost, that this guy did um, called Wizard People Dear Reader. And it's gotta be like the greatest fucking thing, greatest H Harry Potter fan work I've ever seen. So this guy named, uh, I believe his name is Brad Neely. Um, or Ben Neely, one of the two, it starts, it's something Neely. Um, he narrates over the entire first movie of Harry Potter. And he, he does it as like an audio book. And, um, oh, that's weird, he didn't attack. So I think what we will do here is actually we will, we will play this guy. And we'll do this. Anyway, so he narrates over the entire first movie in an audiobook style and um there's a there's a you could go on the internet and you could find somebody who synced the movie to the audiobook and uh what i just said there you know was was the first like little bit of the of the audiobook because i i love it so much that i've got a private drive the ominous fog you know just picture the scene in your head so whenever i run out of things to say pretty much i just go private drive so he's actually going to kill, which means the taunt goes back into my hands. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck a donkey, you asshole. Stabor Stevens. Seven, whatever. Uh, we've got to Sunwalker. So, this arena is not going our way. Not at all. We've only won one match. This is bullshit. Do I have more tea? Damn it! And with that, I'm pretty sure we've lost this match. Yep. Almost overfilled my mug, but it was just enough. I'm down to my last cup of tea. Is he expecting me to just suicide because of that? I ain't doing it. I will go down with me. Not well, maybe pride. I don't know. Do I feel pride for this? Not really. Not really. Let's play the annoying taunt. And then defy us. And we'll weapon up and poke him in the head. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I've lost. Um. Yeah, I actually have this turn because what he's going to do is he's going to trade the 6-6 six, six into the 1-7, then hit it with the 3-3, three, three, which will then get Wind Fury and become a 4-2, which then does exactly, or he's going to do that. So, either either way worked. Damn it all to hell in a handbasket. This is not how I wanted the 30th episode to go. I wanted it to go for like three hours and have it be like a 12-0 victory, guys. I wanted so much more. I wanted so much more. Could have gotten more out. Shit, that was this. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, well. Sometimes that's how it goes. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you don't. Most of the time you don't. One of the things that annoys me about Hearthstone is that they don't let you keep track of how many times you've actually lost a game. Like, you can be like, I have 2,000 Hearthstone wins, but that means shit if you've lost like 7,000 matches, you know? What's the ratio? That's all that really matters. Like, I don't care how many times I've won, and I don't care how many times I've lost. I want to know the relationship between both of those stats. And you can't just give me half the stat because, you know, I know I haven't won 100% of my games. But I want to know what my ratio is to see what kind of player I am. Chances are, I've lost more matches than I've won, but I don't know that because it doesn't keep track. And it's impossible to go back and start keeping track. Because, like, if you haven't been keeping track this entire time, you're not going to be able to know. And keep and starting to keep track now makes all of my previous wins meaningless, you know? So I think it should have been a thing they, they had this entire time. And it upsets me that they haven't, so. That's my little rant of the day for you. I wish they fucking kept track. I should have shivved my own guy. 
Should have shanked him with a shiv. And shivved him with a shank. Aw, oh, yeah. Although, if he does that, I suppose I could shiv that thing. Uh, what are we gonna do instead? I think we're gonna... I don't really, I don't really want to pilot Shredder because it's just gonna give him a fucking advantage over me. Of course, we could weapon. And then punch that thing in the head. And then do this. And because if I'm right, he will knock out the 2-2 with his 1-3, and then I can just shift that, no problem. Wow, candles get hot. Like, I have my candle in like a, a giant glass jar, and that glass jar gets hot. Mm. Feels good. Warms up my mitts. Warms up my mittens, guys. Warms them all up. Pilot Shredder, and we'll just keep going for the face. Cool. Oh, yeah. Halone. Halone. All by myself. Don't want to be all by myself. Ow. Ow. Are you kidding me with this shit? Are you kidding me with this shit? My seal for Argon. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Again, it's actually really close with the damage we're, we're dealing to each other. It's really close. Blade Fury. So this would actually do uh, two damage because of uh, spell damage to all the minions. So that's important to keep in mind. Who's he going to trade up? And we get Echoing Ooze. Which is shit! It's a shit ass card! Hogger! Well, shit my britches and call me Shlomo. That is not what we wanted to see. Uh. It's gotta be the Sunwalker, right? Although we could shiv. Right? And then we could play the Defias. This is our town, scrub. Yeah. yeah. And then we could Blade Fury. And take out that. Not the best move, because now I'm going to get hit in the face for eight, most likely. Um, if he ignores the, the two guys that down there, though, I might have a chance to bring it back. But it really depends on what his next move is. I still have the Sunwalker, which is going to be nice. And somewhere in the deck, I have a heal in the form of the uh, anti-kill bot. My forearms are sore. Damn. What was I doing? Push-ups and stuff, but god damn it. Shouldn't be that bad. Maybe it's this hand strength and anything. My forearms are just... Oh, they're burning. Oh, they're burning. My guess would be he's going to knock the four... He's going to demon fire the two-two. Is he going to kill the 2 1 with Hogger? Oh. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. We might just completely fucking lose out, like right here. Because I have to do this. And that, that taunt is only going to hold him back for so long. Uh oh. If he has a way to somehow remove my taunt, I'm dead. And this fucking arena goes down in 1 3 glory. Oh god. This was not this was not good. This is not good at all. It's actually a really decent chance this video ends on the half hour mark, which would be really funny. In terms of Oh shit! Oh no! Ow! Ow! Can he kill me? Is he gonna be able to kill me? He fucking got all the shit! Oh no! One three glory. That really fucking sucks. Here we go. Damn it! Well played, you bastard. I won't let you have the satisfaction, you fuck. Yeah, there we go. Son of a biscuit. I'm sorry, gang. I I tried. I really did. Oh well. Let's get our reward and we'll call it a day. Some thirtieth episode, huh? Damn it all. Well, we got some dust, and we got a pack of cards, and of course the pack of cards contains nothing useful. 
Because that's how this shit goes. Nope. 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 Absolute garbage! Thanks, Hearthstone! You make me feel so appreciated. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow for episode 31. Have a good one, guys.